Fam, uh, welcome to another seven minute social. We are actually gonna do something just a little bit different, so I uh, hope you don't mind. Um, I wanna jump into John chapter 10. John chapter 10, we're looking at verses 31 through 34. John chapter 10, verses 31 through 34. So here's what it says. Uh, Jesus is in this chapter. Um, he is the good shepherd. He's talking about being one uh, with the Father. And here's where we find ourselves. Verse 31 says, The Jews, they picked up stones again, again. <laughs> Seems like this is a common theme that constantly picking up stones. Wow. To stone him picked up stones to stone him. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of them are you going to stone me? Just saying, I don't get it. I'm, I've been doing nothing but good works. My life, my acts, my works, they, they are speaking for themselves. And so I, I just want to know, let me know, what, for what reason are you going to kill me or stone me? The Jews answered him, it is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy. Because you, being a man, make yourself God. You, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? Mercy. Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. Is it not written in your law that I said that you are are gods and the sons of God. Jesus is quoting directly from Psalm chapter 82. There's a few verses if you want to go back and read that, uh, that context there. But Jesus is quoting just one verse from Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. Now here's why it's a little bit different. This Sabbath coming up, we are starting a brand new series called You Are Gods. You Are Gods. And this is a text that I don't think I've ever heard many, I don't, I've never heard a sermon on this or a series on this. And so this, this past couple of weeks, actually, two weeks, I've just been wrestling with God and, 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 and reading, doing a lot of studying, and been challenged by this particular text. So I want to invite you this week, today, to read this verse, John chapter 10, verses 31 through 34. If you want to read the entire chapter, I would encourage you to do so, but look at this, and specifically what I want you to ask yourself is, what does it mean when Jesus says to these, to these Jews, rather, doesn't your own Torah, right, the law, doesn't the Psalms say this, that you are gods? Like, why do you want to stone me? You're saying that I'm doing something that's, that I'm blaspheming because I'm claiming to be the son of God, right, or that I'm one with God. You're, you're killing me for something that your own scriptures claim about you as well. You are gods. So once again, I want to invite you to dig into this week or start thinking about, start praying through, start asking God, why is this text important? What does it mean? How does it apply to our life today? Right? Why is Jesus quoting this text saying that you are are gods. And once again, these Jews picking up stones to kill him. I want you to do that for yourselves and then coming together this Sabbath, like I said, at 10 o'clock a.m., um, I will be starting a new series, You Are Gods. You Are Gods. And I want to share with you for the next three to four weeks what I've kind of um, discovered or not me, but rather what God has given to me, right? As I've dug and I've wrestled and prayed through and read and going just through breaking down uh, original language and also looking at commentaries and just praying, like, God, what does that mean? What does that look like for us? And why is this important? So I want to welcome you. Please show up this Sabbath, share with your friends about this new series that we're going to be um, talking about. And, uh, and then we'll see you. We'll see you come Sabbath. But this week, I want you for yourself, just between you and God, and see what God shares with you. And, uh, and then as we come together, like I said, we can kind of put all these things together and really study the Word of God as brothers and sisters in Christ. Right? As we all come together, as we're all saying, hey, we're reading this text together as family, 
and uh, this is what God showed me or shared with me. And then as I come and also speak, we can kind of put the pieces of this puzzle together and praying that God would bless us in a special way. All right, fam, love you all. Praying with you, praying for you. And please keep me in prayers as well. And I uh, just want you all to know that uh, we miss you, I miss you, and that you're constantly uh, in my thoughts and in my heart. God bless. We will see you uh, this coming Sabbath. <laughs>